All right, guys, Captain Rick Stanzik here. Check out this video. My friend Charlie here caught this big cobia in the back country. We're gonna clean it up right now and uh, Jamaican Mike's gonna cook it for us. But check him out fighting it. How was that fight, Charlie? <laughs> it was pretty exciting. And especially on that light rod, that was a little 10 pound rod. And, and by the way, if you need to come down here and go fishing, this is the guy to go with. But yeah, you won't recognize him unless he takes Me? his mask down. You guys know what I look like. <laughs> All right, watch him fight this fish here. All right. Something. Cobia. You gonna put him in the boat or? Um, we'll get a picture of him. Big cobia. Let's get a look at this cobia. <laughs> okay. There he is, cobia. I don't know if saved, I got him or he got me. Saved our day. That's a, that's a 10 pound outfit you got there. I like that confidence in you. Okay, go over here. All right. All right. Nice backcountry back cobia. Country cobia, nice fish. Woo! Richard caught with Richard Stanzik on there back country go. Bud and Mary's. You know how I became a legend, Charlie? Taking pictures with other people's fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we decided to keep the cobia. Normally, I'm a big catch and release guy, but we're going to do a cobia catch, clean, and cook. Maybe uh, cook it up tonight. Give Charlie some. Hey. That's fast, Charlie. Hold it out. Barely guys. fits in the cooler there. We had to take all of our drinks out, put them in the bait cooler, put the fish in the drink cooler. 40 pound cobia. Nice thing about the Contender Bay boat though, it comes with a cooler you can put a 40 pound cobia in. All right guys, there's our cobia. We're gonna clean them up now, fillet them. Jamaican Mike's gonna cook them up for us. So uh, check it out here. He's a little stiff from being stuffed in my drink cooler. He wouldn't fit in the other cooler. That's all right though, let's get started. We're gonna cut right behind his head and gills. Go right down that backbone. She wants to come take a picture with this fish. Cobia. <laughs> wow, yeah, yes. They're good eating. There we go. <clears throat> Got a nice big fillet right here. It was a little tricky because he was curved from being in my drink cooler. But we just cut around the uh, back down there real easy. Nice sharp knife helps. Cut the 
rib cage out. Nice hunk of fresh cobia. Too big for the tarpon. All right, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, All right, guys, we got that cobia. I got my buddy Jamaican Mike here. We're gonna cook it up. He's gonna do it coconut Jamaican style. What are we gonna do here, Mike? <laughs> well, um, I was thinking that more for do like a um, a coconut rundown, which which I cook out the coconut, saute up with some nice vegetables and stuff and we're gonna put the fish in it so it's called it's just a um it's a rundown a coconut rundown it, um some caribbean people call it oil down and it basically is just like um getting the coconut um get the milk out of it cook it down it gets a nice or it, it cooks down to a nice custody and you can flavor season it up real nice and put your fish in there and make a nice delicious meal um a fish coconut rundown Coconut rundown, that sounds pretty good. So we're gonna get the chop in here, get everything fixed up. We'll show it to you guys here in a minute. You ready? Yeah, I'm on. So yeah, you see it? So it's a coconut, fruit. these are coconut from the Keys. They all fall off the tree, you know, different houses on the property and stuff. And I just grab them because they're good. Once you chop them and get them, watch what you're gonna see. So this is a coconut from the Keys, you know? Got it right here, boom. You know, I got the machete. The machete is good. It's a big machete, but you know, don't worry. Machine is good for it. So basically what you want to do is kind of like there's other ways to do it. So you basically want to get the coconut open, take the machete. And you see, once you get it like that, there you go, boom. There you go, see? That's the coconut inside right there. Pull right off, there you go, so that's it. Can you, if you're giving you a hard time, go like that, beat it up a little with a machete. There, yeah. And I got the coconut out of there. Good. We're gonna see if it's good. Yeah. So basically, you can just take it and break it on the concrete like that. Smash! There it is. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. It's good. good. Nice and perfect coconut. Right from the tree in the keys here. It's good. You just break it up. Yeah, so it's a real good coconut. Yeah, delish. Yeah, I'm on. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm on. All right, I'm excited. It sounds good. All right, we're yeah. going to get working. We'll be right back with it. Yeah, you know? All right, guys, we're in the golf cart. We're going to go to the store, get a few ingredients so we can start cooking this cobia. Yeah, I'm on. It's for real. Made it in the golf cart. Yes. Yeah. Trading post. Trading post. One of that's One of the pepper there. And just one of these red pepper. Peppers? You guys okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah. So 
put the little red tomatoes, potatoes. Yes, get a couple of these. All right. Yeah. I think we're good. Yes, definitely. This is yeah. definitely. You see that? That's the coconut. Remember the coconut? That I broke the coconut right here. So I got the coconut. I'm gonna boil some potatoes with it. Boiled green bananas is big in the Caribbean, you know? Yeah? Yeah, it's big. We do. I don't so. think I've had them before. Boiled. Right, probably not. A lot All of right. times when I'm in America, they like boiled green bananas. Nice. So it's big in the Caribbean. I'm gonna do some boiled green bananas. And that's the yam, so a nice piece of boiled yam. Uh -huh. Make some rice too for who doesn't want that. And then some bread towels. I got this fish tea. It's a great fish tea flavor. It's a fish noodle mix. Good when you're making fish. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cool. And it's um, this company from Jamaica. And I got a coconut, garlic, and a nice pepper. Scotch bonnet right here. And we got the fish over here, right? Yeah. So this is going to be the whole thing right here. The fish and the coconut all run down, cook it with some food. It's going to be great. It's going to be delicious. You know, you guys are going to love it. Yeah, all right. Man. We're going to get to it. Yeah. And we'll take it out. Coconut? Yeah, we'll take it out of the shell like that. See that? And then we're going to rinse it off. See a little piece? I'm going to rinse it off just like that. It's yummy. Yeah. Just bite, bite a piece first. Bite it again. Yeah, just bite it. Chew on it. Yeah. You like it? Mm. What do you say? <laughs> He's funny. He's like, I don't know if I like it. I like that. You do? You do? It's good? Mm. Yeah, why? It's really good. You want some too, Bo? You want to try the coconut? Felix, what do you say? You're welcome. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> coconut. Yeah. So, so we're back again. And remember the coconut? Yep. Yeah, the coconut. So I get the coconut out of the, out of the, um, just to get it out of the. We're um, gonna chop the coconut shell out of the shell. Yeah. So we gotta take these out. Take them all out. Just take a knife and just kind of slowly go on it and just kind of, yeah, like mm -hmm. that. So I'm gonna wash these off right now. I'm gonna just rinse them off so they get um show me your pipe break. <laughs> you gotta turn it out. Oh yeah. see <laughs> in, alright. I like it. Yeah man. So, so here we go with the coconut now. Just cut them up in a like like just to put them in a blender, just cut it up a little. You know? Just to get it grinded out. Got the blender over here, right? All plugged in. Coconut. Right there. Just like that. Now I'm get some water in there now. So we just can can use any cup right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Put some water. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Ah, ah, okay. And then I press. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on. Nice, nice. Okay, hold on. Cups are coming up. Good, good. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I want. So it's in the yeah, you know? And then we're going right in with the coconut and I strain it, see that? So we strain it right out. There you go. I'm gonna make a little bit of mess, but I'm gonna clean up, you know? I wanna press that button. You gotta jam it. I wanna okay. press that button. You wanna yeah. press the button? Okay, uh, cool. Let me get it set up and then you can press it. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me get it right in there. Yeah. All right, here we go. You wanna press it? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we're making, we're making fish run down with coconut. Press it again. There you go. <laughs> go ahead. Press it. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Nice. All right. Lovely. Thank you. It's awesome. Yeah, you want to see it? Alicia, see it? That's the coconut milk. It's going to cook right up. Soon it's gonna boil up. <laughs> yes, it's, it's hot all, milk, Felix. It's all natural coconut. coconut right there. Hot, hot coconut. Yeah, man. Yeah, steam coming up. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna cook right down to like a custody oil. Just make it cook. It's gonna cook right down. So, so why did I put a little salt oil in the boiling? Like, uh -uh. Hey. No, we gotta we gotta you finish now. Yeah, here, we gotta buddy. stay over here now because hey, everything's hot you, now. If you can't follow the rules, you're gonna have to get out of the yes. kitchen. Okay. Everything. Yes. You have to stay right. Everything's getting hot now. So. Yes. Thank you. Cool. You can watch. I put a little lime juice in it because of the bananas and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a stain and everything, so the lime juice kind of makes it more, you know? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotcha. Right on. Nice. What's gonna happen? Get us some onions. Um, probably just use like a half an onion. We got that right there. Get these onions already ready. Yeah, big up to my charger bean right now, you know? <laughs> He's not around right now, but yo, my charger, big up. You don't know, you know? Big up, Nick. Everybody, you know? I'm here with Ricky. See so y'all know? Big up, big up. Jamaica Mike, one more time. Seeing. Yeah, you know? So I got those, 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 that. So this is some green onions. That's gonna be our cut up for the coconut. And I have the fish seasoning. That's extra stuff right there. Get a little allspice. Get this stir up right now. The custard and everything. See how it's cooking down? Yeah. It's gonna get all nice and custody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll let that cook right down all custody. And we'll come over here now and get some fish. Wow. It's a beautiful Cobia fish. Fillets. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. And there we go. The fish going in. There we go. Nice. Yeah, one. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that should be enough right there. There we go. So now, Kobe is a little thicker fillet, you know, so it's not real super, you know, small and flaky like a snapper. So you can cut it in chunks like this. Right on. Yes, there we go. I'll rinse it off a little bit. So, you know, get off some of the, you know, just a little rinse. So I'm gonna just put in a little water for now. Yeah, it's a real Caribbean cooking right here, you know. So you get those in a little bit of water. There we go. And this is a Jamaica yellow yam. So this gotta be peeled and then rinse off and go right in the pot right away. Just drop that right in there. Give it a little stir. Let that go in and start to cook. Perfect. So I'm peeling the potato right now. Kind of a bigger knife. I normally use a carving knife, but this will work. You know? So yes, there we go. Peel that all up. Yes, all this natural food from the earth. You know, everything's from the earth. Land and sea. Yeah. So all this, you know, nice food. You know, Just put that up. I don't want to make too much. I might leave back some just to, you know. All right, I put the yams first. You can see the yams starting to boil right there. And then so we'll just drop the potatoes in. Really, it's just, yeah, just potatoes and yams and bananas, you know, real ground provision. And then, so with the bananas now, Ricky, see how I crack them like that? So they're easy to peel, they just go like that. See like that? Yeah. Yeah, we just peel them right off. It's green bananas right here, going on the boil. Yeah, you just boil, peel them off like that. Yeah, like that, you know, kind of take off the little, yeah, you know, just like that. You just peel them off right there. Just, you know, cut off those. Yep. There you go. I'm going to put them right in here with them so they can boil with all the other stuff. You see right there, boiled green bananas, guys. You know, you have one for real. Yeah, nice. Everything's bubbling, stir it all in. So we got everything cooking up right now. Lovely. Yum, yum. Yeah, you know? It's looking good. Nice. Some for Felix. Yes. Just cook right down. Oh, nice. so, what do you think? Felix. Yeah, come yeah, on. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, you know? Paprika, you know, a little paprika on there. Paprika, you guys call it paprika, right? Yeah. A little paprika and a um, little all-purpose seasoning on there. Get that all in there, nice and you know, flavor up. That's good enough. A little um, bouillon, just to you know, 
get it all nice and flavorful. Perfect. And I got the allspice, grounded allspice. A little bit out there on there too. I like the whole allspice, but I'll work with the grounded too. Just a little bit of that on there. Perfect. A little bit of black pepper. Yeah, get this fish all oh, seasoned up, you know? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, you know? I like black pepper. I'll take some of that on there. And we'll come right in and just stir it in. Alrighty, so while that's boiling up now again, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut up some um some vegetables to go in it. I'm gonna rinse these off real quick. Yeah. Onions and peppers, you know, garlic. There we go. Okay, good. So I want to get a little garlic going. Put up some garlic in there. Just a little bit of garlic. I like the green onions. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and some cut up right there. And I got some. Onions. Yeah. That's good enough on the onions. You need no more than that. That's perfect. Oh, I'm going to put a whole pepper in there like that. For real. And some sweet peppers, guys. Not too much, you know. A little sweet pepper. Flavor flavor, you know. Yeah, I'm on. For real. Nice. There it is. It's all the onions and the spices going in now, you know? See, no oil, no butter. The coconut made its own oil. If you could see, you see the little oil on the coconut top? So you get the oil from the coconut. Oil and custard from the coconut. Put it right down. You know, all natural coconut right here. Cook that right there. Yeah, man, everything boiling up. Everything's cooking up. Oh, the banana is almost ready. There we go. Nice. Stuff. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pepper in there. With a nice scotch bonnet pepper. And it's not gonna be too hot, but it's not one of them very hot peppers, so I can put the whole pepper. I won't yeah. burst it or anything. Yeah, you know? It's just they, gonna get a nice too flavor. Much more like it if it's too hot. Oh, <laughs> that's right. And, and you know, he's been helping cooking, so you know? It's not yeah. gonna be too spicy, buddy. Not too spicy. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in at least. I'm gonna put the onions and the scallions now. Hold off with the sweet pepper for a minute, you know? Yeah, so just to get that in and then I wanna put the sweet peppers last. Cause sweet peppers can eat raw, you know? They don't have to cook down too much. That, I put a little thyme. I don't have any fresh thyme, so guys, I'm gonna use some powdered thyme, which is the same. Just a, Cause the thyme is good flavor. See that? See how it's changing now with the thyme? And that, just put a little thyme in there. Get that in there. I actually like the powdered thyme. Yeah. We'll get some sweet peppers in there, nice and easy, for real guys. And I'm going ahead and drop the fish now, you know. I'm going to go ahead and All put right. the fish, let everything go in. So we got the peppers, here comes the, the fish. coconut, yeah, you know. And then we'll drop the fish in, right on in there, with the seasoning and everything on it. So here we go, fish is in. Yeah, so everything's going to just cook right down in there with the fish. Yeah, there we go, kind of stir it in. Yeah, so that's the coconut oil cooking down, coconut run down with the fish, you know? Yeah, perfect, get that all in there. So I Do you want that, that um, would it help to have that screen thing? Cause that's what that, yes. that's for to put on top Exactly, of I was about to ask for yeah, a cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so once you have that, For now and let it yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna do see it like that guys you see it everything in there now Let's turn it down a little bit not too high and we're gonna let it cook right down and when it's gonna be lovely it's gonna be awesome yeah man. Cool. yeah see you now guys kind of just let it starting to cook down now see how the fish starting to cook this fish is great yeah and it doesn't take long for this fish to cook it's kind of sturdy and Everything similar in the coconut juice and everything. Yeah, I'm on. Let me check this. This should be ready. I may be able to turn this off now. 
It's the boiled yeah. food. Yeah, I think yeah, all of this I ready. So. If you guys want to see how everything's all boiled up now, it's got the Irish potato right here, nice and soft. Perfect. Nice and soft. Banana's ready. Perfect. We can turn this off. That's off right here. Yep. There we go. Ah, it's one of my favorite recipes. This is, this is actually really good. And this is my sister Sandra. My sister Sandra from Portland. Big up Sandra. She used to live in Portland. <laughs> in Portland, in Jamaica, in Portland, they have a lot of coconut tree down in Portland. Port Antonio, which is the same as Portland. And they cook a lot of coconut dishes down there. And this is my sister Sandra. She's good at cooking this. This is our <laughs> recipe. Big up to you, Sandra. Much respect. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> We're going to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You can see the coconut. You see all the custody from the coconut? The oil and the custody, that's all. No butter, no oil. That's just the coconut. Because the coconut turns into oil. And, and you know, that coconut oil is amazing. You hear a lot of people talk about coconut oil, how good it is for you. There it is. Yeah. A good recipe right here with natural coconut. Yeah. There it is. That's the cobia. It's cobia, it's cobia fish. Cobia fish. Cobia. And Coconut it's, Jamaican rundown. Yeah, man. There it is, guys. Real proper. All right. So, yeah, it's ready. And the food right here. And the cooked food We're is gonna ready. We're going to dig in and get it plated. Yeah. Have a little dinner. taste test. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So, here we go. This is the, that's the yellow yam. Yellow Jamaican yam. It's the potato. Irish potato. And I did both kinds. I did a white ones and the red skin ones like that and this here is right here i'll take this one that's a boiled green banana yeah mm. a boiled green banana yams in that that'll be enough right here right yeah cool and one time and then we'll put some fish on here so you see that we need to put the cobia fish there we go see the fish yeah one nice Put some sweet peppers and some stuff over it. Colorful. Pretty. Yes, there we go. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm on. we got our Jamaican rundown cobia. It looks really good. Yes. I'm hungry, so I think we're just gonna dig in, see how we like it. Yeah, man. For All right. real. Thank you guys you, let me know. No doubt. Yeah. Much respect. My pleasure cooking for you guys today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. For real. Cool. What a treat. <laughs> yeah, you know? So, yeah. You can Try a piece of fish. All here. eatable, mm. no bones. No worry. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> you like it? Mm hmm. Yeah, for you real. can taste that, that coconut flavor. Right on. Mm hmm. Good fish is good. Mm. Nice. I'm used to dumb, I'm used to the yam and the banana stuff. Yeah. But <laughs> so I'm enjoying the fish right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The fish Delicious. is really good. Yeah. Really well done. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. No oil, no butter. Just the coconut. Yeah. It, it made its own custard oil, mm. and it's just natural. Mm. Yeah, you know. I like it. It's really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tried this fish that Mike Felix, cooked. do you want to try uh, the fish so. that you helped cook? Yes, you should. What? You should try some. Try one, what? Little, one little piece here. Right on. Okay. Tell us what you think. Mm. It's the, the coconut. You helped made it. Mm. Mm. You made it real good, good, Felix. Mm. <laughs> Good? You like it? He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> funny. <laughs> you know there's some green banana there too. Right on. You want it? Want some banana? Okay. Yeah, come on. Go. Try it, of course. I I don't. Yeah. I don't need to have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> Delicious, right? Do you like the fish, though, Felix? Mmm. Yummy. Will you like a banana? I love them. I think that's a yes. All right, guys. So, Jamaican rundown with the cobia. Yeah. It was uh, a great success. You guys saw it. I cleared my plate. Yeah. Right. 
I'm just kind of full, but I eat enough, but I'm just a little <laughs> full, but yo, delicious. Yeah, man. Yeah, all Thank right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. Much respect always. Absolutely. It was a pleasure. Good time. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah, man. Much love, much respect. Don't know. Say it, bless them. Much love, much respect. See